Imagine a world where machines think and act on their own, making split-second decisions that keep entire factories running smoothly. This isn't science fiction. It's the reality of modern industrial automation, powered by programmable logic controllers, or PLCs. Programmable logic controllers, or PLCs, are the backbone of modern industrial automation. Whether you're working in manufacturing, process control, or building automation, understanding how to program PLCs is crucial. Today, we'll break down the five essential steps to PLC programming that every aspiring automation engineer should know. Before we dive into the steps, let's quickly define what a PLC is. A programmable logic controller is a digital computer used for automation of industrial processes. It's designed to control machines and processes in real time, making decisions based on input signals and pre-programmed instructions. Now let's explore the five steps to PLC programming. Step one, define the control problem. This initial step involves clearly identifying what you want your PLC to accomplish. You need to understand the process or machine you're automating, including all inputs, outputs, and the desired behavior of the system. This step sets the foundation for your entire program. Step two, create a flowchart or pseudocode. Before writing any actual code, it's crucial to map out the logic of your program. A flowchart or pseudocode helps you visualize the sequence of operations and decision points in your control system. This step allows you to catch potential issues early and ensures a more efficient programming process. Step three, write the PLC program. Using the flowchart as a guide, you'll now write the actual PLC program. This typically involves using one of the IEC 61131-3 programming languages, such as ladder logic, function block diagram, or structured text. The choice of language often depends on the specific application and your personal preference. Step four, test and debug the program. Once your program is written, it's time to test it thoroughly. This involves simulating various input conditions and verifying that the outputs respond correctly. Debugging is a critical part of this step, where you identify and fix any logical errors or unexpected behaviors in your program. Step 5. Implement and monitor. The final step is to upload your program to the PLC and implement it in the actual system. This step also includes monitoring the program's performance in real-world conditions, making any necessary adjustments, and documenting the final program for future reference or troubleshooting. Mastering these five steps is essential for successful PLC programming. Each step builds upon the previous one, creating a systematic approach to developing reliable and efficient control systems. By following this process, you'll be well equipped to tackle a wide range of automation challenges in various industries. Remember, practice and hands-on experience are key to becoming proficient in PLC programming. Let's recap the five essential steps for PLC programming we've covered today. Step one, define the control problem. Clearly identify what you want your PLC to accomplish. Step two, create a flowchart or pseudocode. Map out the logic of your program before writing any code. Step three, write the PLC program using a suitable programming language like ladder logic or structured text. Step four, Test and debug your program thoroughly to ensure it responds correctly to various input conditions. Step 5. Implement the program in the actual system and monitor its performance, making adjustments as necessary. By mastering these five steps, you'll be well equipped to tackle a wide range of automation challenges in various industries. We've explored the five essential steps for PLC programming, providing you with a solid foundation for your journey in industrial automation. Thank you for watching. We hope this guide helps you in your automation engineering career. Remember, practice makes perfect in PLC programming. To start learning now, click here. Click here to learn how you can utilize AI in your PLC programming.